Hi everyone, it's Wendy. Welcome back to the channel. I am going to play, uh, we're doing another One Envelope Wonder um, project today. I'm going to try and make two, um, two pockets from one envelope. Uh, and these are my dollar store envelopes. I know a lot of you get mail, a lot of junk mail. I, I just tend not to. I don't get very many bills. Uh, mine are mostly online. So here's an opportunity to use up some of the envelopes I've picked up at the dollar store. I've just got some various digitals laying around that I had printed for one reason or another and didn't use, uh, or haven't used yet, I should say. Um, I save everything, so <laughs> it will get used. Um, so we're going to use those. You need some glue, scissors, um, possibly, yeah, I'm going to use my cutter as well. So let's get started. Oh, I should say too, I, I picked up this uh, on Amazon, they had a pack of two of these, uh, and they're A3. They're 12 by 18 inches, although they're gridded to show 16 inches and 10, but they are actually go a full 12. And I bought these because I thought this was a nice way for me to know that I'm in frame. If I'm working on this surface, then I know I'm in frame for sure. Okay. So I'm going to take this for just a second. I'm going to Oh, that's one that's already closed. <coughs> Excuse me. That's one that's cut and closed. We'll get that out of the way. So I'm just going to close this one as well. Maybe put a little bit of glue on it as well. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are doing well. It is a really pretty sunny day today here. It is really cold, but it's very sunny. Uh, and tomorrow, we're supposed to get 100 millimeters of rain and 100 uh, kilometers an hour winds. So good luck with that, right? So these are nine and a half long. So I'm going to just cut it. You don't have to cut these right in half, but I'm going to go to like four and three quarters. That should be about half. Okay, so there we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover, um, I'm going to put some paper on the cover uh, first. That's my thought. So let's just see what have we got here. Kind of like some beautiful um, medieval mirage papers. So pretty. So I could put that on there and you could absolutely collage this but uh, rather than you know putting one full piece so I'm putting my finger in the opening I'm just going to put my glue on absolutely use a glue stick for this um, you know me I'm I just don't use glue stick very often and I definitely don't use it when I'm doing a um, when I'm doing a video so we'll set that here and this on, try and measure it so that it's up right on to the top of it, like that. It's not perfect, but nobody does perfect anymore. We don't need perfect. Just cut it there. I might just cut that like that and just fold it over a little bit. And just fold that over. So, and then this one you could fold over. There's just not enough of it there. So I'm just going to go like this and cut a little closer to the opening. So what, I guess I didn't really think, <laughs> I should have thought a little bit more about my image because I'm going to end up cutting it off a bit. So what you're going to do, I'm just watching a deer go by my window, which is a daily occurrence here. I want to make this envelope have like a, um, a slant to it. So let's see, just looking to see if I have a pencil or a pen, got a pen here. And I'm just gonna, I'm actually going to make a mark and there's, there's no rhyme or reason. You put it where you want it. I'm gonna cut underneath it. 
So what I'm going to do uh, is cut down here to just under the mark, so just underneath where I made that straight mark, and then I'm going to cut just underneath that line. And I find if you use a big scissor, you're more likely to stay straight in that for that particular um, for that particular um, cut. So I'm just going to cut this down a little bit more. I don't like that. So. Essentially, that's all we're doing is we're just making this kind of a curved pocket. Um, sorry, I'm just going to move my collection here for my scraps. So, very, very simple project, but I think it will be effective. Um, and I'm thinking I'll put like a piece of paper in behind it. Like that, but I think I want to cut this edge off just to give it some contrast. Um, you know, some of the best ideas are the simple ones. <laughs> so we'll just do that and I just need it to be, it doesn't have to go the whole width of what we've made. So I'm just gonna tear that like that. So this will fit in here and we'll be able to scoosh it up to that side. And then that gives us a nice background in there. Okay. Oh, that's why it was catching. There's a bit of a fold in it. So let's see if we can get this in there. And even if we don't get it in there straight, you know, right from the get-go, because we've got glue on the back of it, um, we uh, we can we can finagle it if we have to. So yeah, it's been really funny weather. Um, I mean, we have we have not had our typical sort of winter here. It's been in this part of the Atlantic region it's been quite um, mild and we haven't had see how i missed all that we can just trim all of that off and we can use the, my cutter we haven't had the snow in nova scotia the province next to us has had a ridiculous amount of snow it's just been wild what they've been having to deal with um and comparatively we've had very very little so there, that is one. Now you can see a little bit of white there, but I think once it's on in a journal, you're not going to see that. You'll have your tag on the inside. And just this really, really cute. And if you covered the back, you could turn it into a flip if you wanted. So that's the first one. Let's look at another. And like I said, I'm just using scrap papers seeing what I want to use. Oh, I love this. This is one of Tracy's beautiful digitals. I love that. Okay, I'm just going to tear it down the middle just so that I know what I'm dealing with in terms of size. I feel like if I put this, I'm going to cut the bottom so that I know that's where I want it to go. I want it right to the bottom of my of my um, envelope piece, and of course you can decorate these more as well. So, but I do want it down there. So, I put my finger in here, put my glue in as well. So, this is a great thing if you have a piece of junk mail and the top of it has just been damaged. Um, because someone other than you opened it. <laughs> because we're all so careful because we want we want to preserve those envelopes when we get them. Okay, so I'm just 
There we go. Nice. So that is there. Like I said, we can fold it around if we want to. We can do that. I like cutting it at the top nice and straight, so I like to use my cutter for that. And that's a nice scrap to keep. Move that out of the way. I'm not worried about this being too straight, but at least I can fold it over. You could keep that and use that to hinge it on something too, if you want it. Just put my glue on here. So I have to tell you a funny story about this ring that I'm wearing. It's just a, a silver ring um, that I have had for a long time and I love it. And um, it was missing. It went missing. Okay, let me just think about it. We'll put it here. Unfortunately, we're, we're going to lose a bit of that, but it doesn't have to be as Deep, like I'm not going to be consistent with how deep these um, angles are that we're taking off. Um, so it went missing uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" You know, it is a bit loose on my finger, so I just assumed that it had fallen off. And I knew I hadn't been anywhere, so it was going to be found. So I'm going to cut just underneath here underneath the line. It's a little tricky when you get to the corner or to the end. But there we go. And I'm just going to cut that because it's a little bit rounded. So yesterday I was taking Midge and I went out to the mailbox. And of course Arthur gets in the closet. He loves a linen he loves a clothes closet. So he gets into the closet while we're while I'm gone. And um, later on, I, you know, I just leave the closet door, the louver door, I left it a little bit open for him. And a little bit later on, I hear this sound in the hallway. You know how he loves to play hockey? Well, he was playing hockey with something, but usually it's a bottle cap and there's a kind of a hollow sound that the bottle caps have that this this whatever he was using didn't have that same hollow sound um and so i looked down and the little monkey was playing hockey with my ring it was in it had to have been in the um in the clothes or the the coat uh closet so I was telling Mr. Journal Adventure when he came home, and I said, isn't that great? He found my ring. It must have come off when I was taking off my coat or whatever. And he just looked at me and said, I bet you it's more likely that the cat took it off your vanity <laughs> and hid his precious in the closet and was going back in to get it. So who knows? I, I prefer to think that Arthur saved the day rather than Arthur caused the problem. But you know... Either are perfectly plausible. Sorry, this it's tough to do with our glitter glue. It's a little easier, I think, to do when you're using a glue stick. There we go. Just like that. And I'm just going to fold that over. Because it has glue on it. So that is the second one. Very, very quick and easy and simple. Do I need any more glue on here? Yeah, so very, very quick and easy and simple. And I mean, I suppose you could open it first, but I like the idea that we're preserving the way that the envelope was closed in the first place. So that's two, very, very quickly. We have these as well. Let's pick out another paper. There's so many pretty papers to choose from. Okay. I like this one a lot. This is a ruby and pearl paper. 
I'm just going to do like I did in the last. Just pull it apart like that. And I'm just going to, and it doesn't matter if it's the side that's been closed or not that you use. I'll use that this time. I'm just going to put glue on here and then kind of set it down and we'll see what we get from the image. So thank you so much, by the way, for your absolutely wonderful comments about my, oh, that's got a pretty um, Rachel paper on the back. Uh, your absolutely wonderful comments about the um, painted journals that I did, the journal covers that I painted. Um, I have to say, I was pretty nervous about those. Uh, I really was. I, I was afraid, you know, that I think it's whenever you, you do something where you, it's a little more personal. Like the painting part for me was a little more personal. I'm going to just put these edges all over uh, on this one. I think it's because you feel like you're, you're giving up a little bit more of yourself when you do you know, when you paint or, or whatever. That's the way I feel anyway. So, um, yeah, it was, um, it was absolutely lovely, your comments. Thank you so much. Um, just kind of a whimsical uh, sort of look. And I am going to do some more, for sure, for those of you who have asked. I'm, you know, sometime in the next little bit, but, or it may be, maybe a few weeks. I'm not 100% sure at this stage. Um, because there's a lot of, it doesn't look it, you know, they, they look quite primitive, the flowers, but it is a lot of um, work because there's layers and layers and layers. So how pretty is that? That is so pretty. Now let's do it on towards the other side this time. That would be great. So... Let's go like that. There's my line. And for me, it's just a little harder <laughs> to cut. I'm going to go right here and then just cut like that. Cut the edge off. Yep, that worked. And then because I'm right handed, I think a left-hander would have a better to go from the bottom of that angle. I'm just going to go underneath like the last few times. And you can see that better here, can't you? There we go. I don't have to trim that background because of the way we cut it that time. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, what do I want to put in there? Some more ruby and pearl paper. Oh, that'd be pretty. Wouldn't that be pretty? I think so. So I'm just gonna cut a bit here because I know I don't need all of that. And but isn't that pretty? That's nice. Okay. So we're going to, and so would that be, that is some of Rachel Roxy Creations, her beautiful um, coffee dye papers. So. Okay, we've got our glue on there. I feel like I'm very quiet today. See, I didn't quite get to the top, but you know what? We can fix that in a minute. Love that. It's a quick fix, a quick and easy fix. There we go. Just trim off. And it's lovely and straight there at the top. And what's really nice is because we've put paper on these, they're nice and nice and thick and reinforced. Love that. Okay, let's do one more. Let me double check my time just to make sure we're good. Oh, yes, we're fine. Fine. 
Okay, what paper do you want? You could use this. You could use that. Yeah, let's do that. So that's just using what I had on the back. And it's a Rachel, I think it's her backgrounds papers, if I remember correctly. Her dig one of her digital kits. So I often print more than I'm, I need uh, for a journal or a series of journals. So this is what I do. The ones that I don't use, I just fold like I have here. And then I use them in ephemera or I use them in a future journal. So I'm going to set that down there. Oh, okay. I could have... The last one, we didn't worry about this because we fold it over the sides. But I'm not going to do that with this one. Not all three sides. Anyway. There we go. Move that out of the way. Okay. And straighten the top when we're done. So we'll put our glue on. So yes, it's um, it's going to be a very wet and windy day tomorrow. And what's happened? I found that my uh, my son and daughter-in-law and my uh, William's parents, William and Sam's parents, they for some reason the infrastructure and in where they live, there's a propensity for there to be um, power outages. They're very close to us, very near us. So I'm just going to put that here so that I can, once again, doing it on this side. Um, so I have a, I've made a stew, or it's, it's cooking now. Um, so that there'll be lots of food in case they do have to come and stay because they will they're it's I would not be surprised that they might lose power. So I get such ribbing if there aren't cookies in the cookie jar and whatnot on a Sunday when everyone comes to visit. <laughs> it's where are the cookies? Um so I always have cookies in the cookie jar. I only put them in, I tend to only put them in when um, they're coming because otherwise Mr. Journal and Adventure will eat them. And he's, he's, this is his request. He said, do not put, oh, actually I'm just gonna glue that in and then we'll, we'll trim it. See how it's uh, a little too fluffy there at the top? That's fine, we will trim it with the cutter um, when we're done. So so yes, he has said, please do not have those cookies around when it's just the two of us. I have a very good, um, have, what's the word Andrew <laughs> uses? Anyway, I, I rarely, um, I allow myself sweets usually on for Caesar Sunday um, when everyone's here. You know, and I've made a special dessert of some sort. I allow myself to have some sweets then, but otherwise, I try not to. Um, I don't know for some reason it stays with me. I wonder. I, maybe it's maybe it's my age. I hate to say that, <clears throat> but it does stay with me. So, anyway, he says he calls himself. Uh, what is it? Will, will powerless. He has no, no willpower. So, look at that, guys. Really simple. We've made four little envelopes, pockets. And like I said, you could cover the back and it could be a flip. Let's see <clears throat> if I have anything that we might want to put on them, like just to, you know, judge them up a bit or whatever. See what I have. Oh my goodness, look at that. That's awfully large though. A butterfly. I've got some tags. I'm just going to put some things out. Oh, that's nice. 
I don't need tabs for this, that's for sure. Oh, I've got some labels. And go ahead, a smaller but oh, smaller butterfly. That's kind of nice. Let's see, what else do we have? I don't think we need any florals, do we? Like, I mean, they're super pretty as is. inclined to want to use um, flowers because we already have so many such beautiful flowers there on the images. I actually have some of this too. Okay, let's just see. I don't know about that there. I think I might like this bit of lace on here or maybe on the bottom and then it would come off the uh, page. I think that's what I'm going to do there. Yeah, I'm just going to put a little bit of glue like that. Glue it down so that it's going to come off of the page a little bit. And yeah, I like that. And I'm going to fold it around the edge, I think. So this is fine. You get your bases done and then you get your, however you store your ephemera. I have store mine in several different ways. Um, but I do like using this little tin that I have next to me. So to me, that one is done. I think that looks really cute. I actually like this butterfly just like that. I think this is a Tracy Fox butterfly. So anyway, fear not, I have cookies in the freezer. Now, you know, we may lose power too, but we tend not to. I, I, oh my gosh, why did I touch wood when you say that? So, um, I think it's because we have underground wiring in our, our neighborhood here. All right. Do I want a little label there too? I don't know. Tracy's little specimen labels. Oh, I do. I'm going to set it going down that way. You could put something back there, but the way I look at it, there's going to be a tag in these pockets or a journal card. So I um, I don't want to I don't want to put something there when it's just going to get covered. Isn't that cute? Super cute. Okay, let's move the ones that we've done up here. And put this gorgeous fella there. I wonder. I wonder if I put something like that there. If that I think that'll tie in the blues a bit. Just one of the little swatches I did on rag paper. Just gives it a little something extra. And then I do think we're going to put him right there. Okay. And this is, I'm pretty sure this is a Tracy Fox bird. Here goes the butterflies for hers and the birds for hers. The labels I think that I've used so far are hers. I'm, I don't think I know they are hers. Uh, for one of her beautiful kits. I'm going to set this here. And I love creating a relationship where the item hits all three surfaces. So that to me is done. You could absolutely put a label like down here if you wanted. You know, I think I will. So we'll put a label down here. So, and then all of those, love them. So I've got that. Now, because these are decorative florals in the background, I think I could use a floral on this one. 
And the question I have is, what's the best floral? This is nice. That one is nice. Um, looking at some more here. I just think the purple doesn't quite match. This is super pretty. Oh, I like that. Okay. I'm going to put that there. Do I want to put that there and then that there? I think I do. Okay. We'll put that being decisive. Not a bad thing. There's, I've got two deer laid down outside our my window here of the my art room so i think that's pretty cute the i, I love deer and and I, I don't mind seeing them around the problem is that they're a bit of a menace to a lot of people they eat their gardens and whatnot um we don't put our plant a garden here we do at at the cottage and uh, the cottage there's there's no deer so that's a bonus but um the um, the big menace is um, Lyme disease from ticks because ticks are so prevalent on deer, so not not fun. So guys, that is it. Those are our four pockets from two envelopes. So it's one envelope wonder still, but it's we're getting two envelopes per. And let me see what do I have for. I have some tags that I could just set in these. Um, this one in here, I think. And it has a nice yellow butterfly. And I have this pretty one with the, that looks nice. This is pretty with this tag. I like that. Do I have another one? Oh, I do. There's one with a poppy. That's kind of pretty. And that's going in there. So there you go. Four envelopes. That was done very quickly. Um, so thank you all for joining me. And I hope you're enjoying the One Envelope Wonder series. Um, I'll continue to do One Envelope Wonder videos as I can. But... Um, uh, I will be doing some other videos too. Don't worry. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care. Bye.